As producers, we need a quick way to get our data into Shotgun. Whether it's coming from a bidding or VFX breakdown or any other form of tracking we were using before Shotgun came along. While it would be great to say, hey, I'm the first one creating the project and it's a blank slate, so I'll import it all at once and hit the ground running. That's often not the case. Typically, there's some information already in Shotgun that was created before we started on the project, or we are managing a department toward the end of the pipeline and have additional data to add that wasn't handled early on. In this topic, we'll have more of an emphasis on the latter, bringing Shotgun up to date when the information is incomplete since we weren't the first ones in the pipeline. So instead of importing everything, we'll import some things and then update the existing records with additional information from our own spreadsheet. Before we start with a more complex import, let's talk a little bit about importing in general. We can import things into Shotgun from any entity page via the More menu dropdown. Whether we want to import shots for sequential work, spots for commercials, episodes for seasons, levels for games, or assets and tasks for any type of project, we can do so right from the Entity page. Before importing, it's actually suggested that we export from the Entity page first with the columns visible that we wish to import. This will help give us the right column names that Shotgun will recognize in the mapping step of the importer, and we can just copy and paste our import data into that sheet. We'll follow the importer steps and then we'll dig in later. I'll speed this up to save us some time. Now that we know the basics, we'll start on an asset page where we can see that we have some assets created in Shotgun already for the Signal project, but we need to import a few more that are missing, and then we need to create tasks and bids linked to all assets in the project. We have an Excel sheet breakdown of all of the assets with their associated tasks and bid information. While comparing, we notice that there are already a few assets in Shotgun, but there are many more in our breakdown, so we'll want to import the remaining so that they match. First, we can download the bid sheet from the Shotgun Support Site article, How to Import an Existing Bid Sheet and Create Shots and Tasks, linked in the text part of this topic as well. Next, we'll take our breakdown and compare the two, and then we'll use a new CSV downloaded from our Shotgun Assets page that has the same data present and copy and paste our breakdown data into that CSV using the bid sheet as reference on how to format our data. Notice that the bid sheet we downloaded as reference is designed for shots and shot pipeline steps, but we can easily reference and tweak it so it's designed for assets or any other entity that has pipeline steps and tasks. Since we exported from our assets page with the correct pipeline steps and fields present, our spreadsheet is looking like the perfect match for the bid sheet reference. Once we've created an import spreadsheet like this, we can reuse it if we need to pull in big chunks of data of the same entity type later on in the project. We'll just make sure to save this somewhere that we can find it later on. Now let's paste the data directly into the importer in Shotgun on an Assets page via the More dropdown, Import Assets. Let's continue on to mapping our fields and they all match up perfectly since we had taken the step at the beginning to export from this page. If a column doesn't match up, we can always manually map a mismatch column's name. Notice that there are a few blanks where we don't need to import anything since tasks won't exist for assets in certain pipeline steps. This is fine, and will just mean that nothing will import on those. Let's move on to specifying the asset name field as the ID field. This is where we want to configure that assets only be imported if they don't already exist by name, and that if they do exist, we link the new bid information to those assets that exist already, thus updating them. It's also worth mentioning that when possible, it's a good idea to always match existing entities based on the ID column, since that's a unique identifier and should always match exactly, versus an entity name or other data that may present duplicates. 
Note the Shots column. Before importing assets, these shots that we want to link to the assets are already created in Shotgun. If they didn't already exist, these shots would turn red and would not import. Since they are already there, Shotgun knows to link these new assets to them. Now, we'll see a color-coded report of what is going to happen upon importing assets and bids. We can see that 10 assets will be created, 2 assets will be updated, one asset has more than one match, which we'll need to fix before importing, and 34 tasks will be created. Since Shotgun caught that we have two assets that already exist as duplicates, we can load a new tab in the browser for our assets page, locate the duplicate, rename it so it's no longer a duplicate, and then send it to the trash. Then, back to the importer, we click on the previous step, then continue on to preview again. And now, everything is looking good, so let's click Import. As a best practice, we'll click the View a New Page Showing Imported Data so that we have a record of the exact updates that were made. We can always reference this page later from the Pages menu to double check and audit any changes that were made. Now we have a list of tasks created for each asset under each pipeline step that have their bids and durations. If we want to update our task names from the generic new task, we can do so via this imported task page. We'll want to ensure that the task name and pipeline step columns are visible, and then export this page to CSV. From here, let's delete the first few columns, rename the tasks to something more accurate, like art for all of the art pipeline steps, model for the model pipeline step, rigging for rig, and surfacing for texture. Then rearrange the data for an easy import. We'll use the importer from the Signals Tasks page, map the columns based on the Task ID column, and then update the task names from here. Alternately, we can update task names in bulk instead of updating them through the importer, which we'll cover in a later topic. We'll cover more about tracking bids in a later topic as well.